What you witnessed today at Arizona was a team that quit on Freddie Kitchens from the get-go. The game plan offensively, and, and this is the third time I've heard this this season. Vance Joseph said, we knew what Cleveland was going to do offensively. Now, what does that tell you about Frederick Kitchens' play calling? Everyone knows it's predictable. He's got nine plays, and he does all nine plays three or four times a day, uh, game. Cleveland's offense, Arizona had the worst-ranked defense. They gave up 445 yards a week. Worst-ranked defense in the National Football League. And Cleveland's offense was sputtering, and it is play calling. It's Freddie Kitchens trying to learn on the job how to play call when – this guy is such a fat fucking cancer. See, here's the thing. If you truly love the Cleveland Browns, you would look in the mirror and say, you know what? You would have done this weeks ago, months ago, like in September, and said, you know what? I need to just be a head coach. I'll let somebody that's more qualified like a Todd Munkin call plays. And this team right now, 10 wins, right? Easily, easily. Trust me. The play calling has been the Cleveland Browns problem all year. Freddie Kitchens is the reason this team, the players quit. They quit. They quit. This team quit on Freddie Kitchens today. They quit on him. They didn't do, they, none of them, they quit on him. Jarvis Landry going off on him. That's, they, these players know the problem with the offense. It's not Bayfield. It's the play calling. You can only do what the coach calls, and it's play calling. It comes down to certain execution. And if you get poorly designed plays that are called, you're not going to have a chance for success. And the players know that. Players know, all right? To a man, they know what the problem is on that team. Freddie has to go, and John Dorsey needs to come out, and he needs the man to fuck up and say, listen, I dropped the ball here. I made the most critical hire of all time in this organization, and I dropped the ball. I hired an unqualified guy because my ego's fucking real small, and I wanted control. For, uh, Dorsey, you need to come out and admit your mistake. Don't just fire him. Admit your mistake because you dropped the ball, Dorsey. You set this organization back. Mayfield should have had a good second year. Should have had a good second year. All these weapons with a good play caller, Todd Munkin, he should have had a good second year. Maybe great. Should have been in the playoffs. You dropped the ball. You hired an unqualified fucking slob. Who has actually, he reminds me of Hugh Jackson because at least Hugh Jackson knew how to call offensive plays. If Hugh Jackson had the talent on this team right now, he'd still be coach, okay? And Hugh was not a good coach, but he's 10 times the coach Freddie was. Freddie will never get another head coaching job. He may get a position coach, but he's not on the John Dorsey, I blame you for this whole travesty. You need to come up and make your snake. Freddie sounded like a defeated man in his press conference. It was just hilarious. He sounded like he was going to cry. He's not qualified. He never was. This Browns team quit on him. And I've never seen I've never seen offensive play calling this bad in the National Football League. Never. And I can't watch them no more. I can't watch. It's like you got all this talent, all these good players, and you got this guy that doesn't know what he's doing running it, and you got a clown general manager It's embarrassing. So Mayfield, he struggled this season. Next season, I surmise he'll take off and have a great year. But it's not going to be under Freddie. Because if they even consider keeping Freddie, there's no reason to watch this organization. There's no reason. I don't even want Freddie back as the, as if you say, listen, we're going to make him not call plays. Someone's going to call plays. He's no longer a part of the offense. I don't want him back, okay? Because Someone that knows he's the, Freddie knows he's the fucking problem. He knows it. He's too stubborn. I don't want this clown back. He destroyed this organization. I want him out of here. He's like a cancer, eradicated away from the Cleveland Browns. I want a new offensive coordinator. I want a new head coach. I don't care who we get, but I want a new head coach. But the play calling all year has been horrible. And John Dorsey is a lot to blame here. And Freddie Kitchens is horrible. John Dorsey hired the worst candidate ever. I mean, you might as well just give me the head coaching job. I had just as much qualifications as Freddie, and I know I would have done a hell of a lot better job because you know what I would have done in this situation? I would have said, you know what, Todd Munkin, you had a great offense last year. Why don't you call plays, man? Let me just take over and let me run the team. I would delegate. So, it's embarrassing. And I love the fact that the players hate Freddie now. I expect Freddie to be fired tomorrow morning. I do. I, I expect him to be fired um, as soon as they touch down in Cleveland. And if he's not, then this tells you all you need to know about John Dorsey. He's a fucking clown. And the organization will always be like this.